Similar sounds. This dude could probably help me out, you know. Keep going. Bro, he's actually helping me. Okay, I gotta, I gotta get out of this. He just helped me get the exit. What the freak? I'm out. I'm freaking out. Please try and do worse, bro. I need... So what is going on guys? This is Ryan here and welcome to you know what Baldi take it for me. Welcome to Baldi's basics in education and learning. That's me. Such a kind hearted guy. The game recently update guys and all horror elements of this game have been completely removed and apparently says the principal Baldi is the kindest guy out there. Uh, oh, hold on a sec. It's Baldi calling. Hello? Just, just a prank right Baldi? Uh, hello? Dude hung up on me. I mean, I'm not really sure what's going on. The principal said that Baldy was apparently all nice. My phone, it's ringing again. Hold up. Baldy? What's that supposed to mean? Cryptic message? Can I help you something? He hung up on me again. So welcome back anyway, guys, to Baldi's Basics in Education and Learning. The game has now entered version 1.3.1, which means nothing to me. It does mean, though, that the game has since updated. Supposedly, quite a few things have been changed. I think the items have been completely swapped out for new stuff. And to top it all off, no, the new God, student please, in this school. No. Now, I know I've been playing a load of Baldi's Basics on the channel recently, guys, so I've got a bit of a compromise for today. You may have noticed this video was slightly earlier than usual, and um, I think you know what that means. There will be a second upload a little bit later on in the day, it's a series a lot of people have been requesting, so we'll see how it goes down. For this one, though, let's get straight into Baldi's Basics. I want to see what's been changed around this school. Story mode. Collect all seven notebooks and then exit the school to win. And there's an endless mode now. Collect as many notebooks as you can. High score zero. Oh, man, I'm going to be doing, like, 20 videos on this one. I was kidding, guys. Okay, I'm just joking. I mean, if you guys do enjoy this video, though, just simply leave a like rating. Right let's get straight into this. Oh, Here we bye. How's it going, Baldi? Well, Same guy? Okay, lift's still not <laughs> School looks kind of similar. Egg we got an outside now? I mean, that somewhat of an outside, like five by five. So, uh, you know, if I was to actually leave the school, I mean, where the freak am I going? Can I leave the school? Nah, the doors do not open, dang. I mean, I say that, but what am I really missing out on? Let's be honest. Looks like a similar deal then, so over to the door. Yeah, apparently the door's talking to me, not Baldy, so still don't know how that's working. Classroom, dang, the cabin looks a bit darker. Like, am I seeing that? All right, let's get to this then. So, same dealio then. Let's go eight, that one's gonna be two, and then we got 12. I mean, I'm a genius, Baldy, okay? Except this dude's still complimenting. Good, good, good. Baldy's gonna give us that speech again. So, yep, still getting the shiny quarter. That thing as well used to bounce up and down really quick, and uh, I know, okay. Okay, so we're gonna go over to question three. Let me just see. Is it the same deal? Looks kind of like it. Hold up. And uh huh. Still kind of bugging out with that one, huh, Baldy? Uh huh. Times. And still, I think the answer might just be. Is it? Oh crap! I still can't get it, guys. I mean, you can tell in my speech I'm getting closer. Not quite there. So here we go. Going with the same lines right now. Baldi's kind of lost his junk. He's whipping his hand so hard he's going to make that thing bleed. Now, apparently there's a new student within the school. Uh, hold on, let me take the quarter. And I don't... Okay, there's the principal, so no running still in the halls, I'd imagine. All right, you go back off that way. Another qu... Hold up. That's uh, that's almost too generous. I mean, thanks. Inside the first room, we've still got the chocolate bar. So we got two quarters now, though. And... What the freak? Um... What is happening? That's not coming from there. Hold up. What? Uh, hold no up. School okay, the that's kind of the uh, What the freak is that? Detention for you. Oh my god. You should know it literally is a heart on wheels. Baldi, what the freak is that thing? What did you do? <laughs> that is the scariest looking thing I've ever seen. Okay, Baldi's right there, so we're not going that way. Oh my gosh, guys. Uh. Uh, a zest you can buy zesty bars now from here. There's also some kind of drink spot. So hold on, let me just cash in right there. I'm gonna use the first one. I got loads of sprint. What is that? WD no squeeze. So, uh, bro, I'm getting so creeped out. There are so many weird noises. I don't like. Whoa, he's real close. Okay, get some sprinting on. My gosh, there are some strange noises in this school right now. <laughs> gonna be honest, guys, uh, kind of not comfortable at all with this. Okay, I'm gonna buy the B soda. I've got WD no squeeze. Uh, I think that's gonna be used for the door somehow then. I just gotta figure out how. There's an alarm clock in there. Okay, there's a load more items then. I don't think the old ones have been scrapped, just new ones have been added to help us out. All right, we got some clearance from Baldi. So I'm gonna go over to this book then, get these answers done. All good, all good. Managed to get only the last one wrong, of course. So if I was to use this on the door, it makes... What? So if Baldi- okay. I'm gonna swerve out of the way of that one, but what it basically does not if you use the WD on the doors, it means that no sound is triggered when Baldi, I guess, is nearby. Right, I got two of the B sodas. I've also got another one of the chocolate bars. I kind of want to make a run, though, for the room that had the alarm clock. It seems- What the freak? 
freak is that? Oh my god, it's dead! <laughs> Alright, let me blast Baldy away. Hold up. Let's get out of my face. And that made a different sound as well, like a, a cannon or something. Alright, we're still trying to beat this game, though. So I think Baldy's literally on the uh, corridor just behind that wall there. So I don't know what's going to happen after we get these answers done. I mean, let's see if we can get out of this situation. It just out the door. Okay, so we just got enough time. Now, let me get some running in right here. I kind of feel like... Wait, was this always here? Just a school rule, so that's fair enough. We already know about all that good stuff. I don't think I'm going to have enough time to go in that room, so I'm going to have to leave it. There's... Is that the sound coming from the uh, the dude that's like on? What the freak? That is so creepy, man. I am not. I am not a fan of that at all. Okay, uh, what does that say? WDO squealed when the doors are too loud. Hello. Oh my gosh. Uh, okay, I'm gonna have to give the bully something. Maybe I'll give him the chocolate bar. I think. Can I take your cake? I'll take that. Wait. It's mine. Now. He punishes the bully. So I kind of want to see what this thing. Oh my gosh. Look at this thing. Oh my goodness. What the heck happened to his eyes? Uh oh. So it's a freaking pusher. It's a freaking pusher. Baldi, what the freak did you do to that poor child? The coin isn't there. So she has like a, uh, I guess a playtime sound to her, whatever you want to call that. That's how we can hear her then in the uh, corridors. But the quarter that was there before, it is completely randomized. Let me just swipe in there before the door closes. Nice. And snitch the uh, chocolate bar. Now, I want to get the alarm clock. I want to see what the use of that thing is. The sock puppet is still there, you see. I thought the pusher guy maybe replaced that. Or, I don't know, maybe he does something more because the broom almost acts as him. Either way, I don't want to see his face. Nope. Um. <laughs> what the freak is going So, I think what he does. Let me dodge out of the way. Um. I mean, you're kind of trash, my dude. I'm sorry. Um. I think what this guy is trying to do is push me a bit. But you're soon going to see, guys, he's got a bit of a problem. He's trying to get down this corridor I am here. And, um. I mean, oh, I think he's done it, actually. Uh-oh. I think Baldy's gonna beat him to it. Yeah, yeah, okay, kids, sorry, I was gonna play it, but I can't. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. Okay, let's get this done. All right, we've got enough distance between me and Baldy. So I want to go in the uh, detention room. I want to see exactly what the reasoning behind that dude with the freaking beating heart is. He's right here in front of us. So, oh, are you gonna block me off? Wow, you freaking... Sure. I have lost you. I don't like that. What the fuck? When first prize at the science fair loves hugging people, rushing towards uh, anyone it sees, sadly it turns super slowly. Wait, that's a science project? It's not actually a person? I mean, let me just escape Baldy. Ah! <clears throat> Yeah, something stuck in my throat. Coast looking clear. I see the quarter down the other end there as well. So let's go. There's another one in here. My goodness, there is so many good stuff. I'm actually going to use the chocolate bar because we can actually buy them. So a time thing, an alarm clock. If we set that thing down, we can probably lure Baldy to another location, I suppose. Talking a location. He's right on my freaking behind. Hey, he's going to hop there. I'm going to try and run really far away. Let me just see. You know what? I got a limited sprint because I've eaten the chocolate bar. Give me something great. Nope. Ain't interested. I'll just go the other way. I'm sorry, my dude. So I'm going to try the alarm clock. I guess I'll set the thing in the corner here. Is that... Okay. Whoa. That's a big old alarm clock. If I was to move back this way... Okay, I need some rest. Now, he's also updated it so when you need the rest, you don't... Wait. What is the time thing? What the freak does it do? Is it like a blockade? Like, if you put it down in, like, a path, he can't go through? Oh, my God. Like, the freaking trifecta. Bully. Baldy. Jump rope girl. And to finish it off, a bit of death. I think what we're going to try and do, guys, is maybe go for seven out of seven books again. I'm going to maybe use the same strat, though... I like the idea of the uh, WD no squeak thing. That one's a really good thing. I kind of feel like there's going to be some differences to the route that we take, which will be very, very impacting in the long run. Maybe using the WD squeak thing isn't a good idea if we were to do these two last, because you'd use it, Bolly would still know the direction we're going. And it's just like a long stretch of a corridor. All right, now I did see one in here. So, all right, Mr. Uh, squeak, 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 squeak. Yeah, but pass you real quick. Okay, managed to swipe that one. So I'm thinking if I was to walk straight up this way here, okay, the lock's still in there and we've got like a, a globe exit thing before we even need to. No running in the hall. That was a really stupid. I literally saw the principal and I was like, let's run. This said uh, this radio thing take a quarter? No? Uh oh. Okay. Dude, we're gonna swipe round him. Ooh, I think we're just about. What the freak up to? <laughs> so is it like a block? If I put that there, let me just see. Uh, nope. He gets straight through. What is the point of the alarm clock? Will it maybe ring after a certain amount of time? Is that what it is? Maybe we could plant it. And then if we get like loads of ground with Baldy out of our sight, the then he goes straight back. Oh my it's goodness. He still took it anyway, principal. It's ringing. Hold up. So, wait, wait, hold up. I think, 
he changes direction so we can plant the thing. We got like a timer on that of about 25 seconds. Yeah. Baldi has zero ideas where we are. We could do anything right now and he has no idea. Give me that B soda. Uh, come on, bro. No. Don't sweep me that way. <laughs> oh my, no. <laughs> Thank you, I guess. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Dude, what the freak is going on? This is legit like an endless ride. I'm kind of enjoying this, just saying. Thanks for the tour, man. Take that WD whilst I'm there. Okay, we're gonna have a change of plan. I mean, it seems like the skip rope girl is a lot more forgiving. Like, if you get away from her, at least turn a corner, she completely forgets about where you are. It's kind of a nice feeling. Pretty nice to know that, you know, we can uh, get away. A pair of freaking, what? Scissors? Safety scissors. Um, for what? Paper or something? Safety scissors. What the freak can we use safety scissors for? Now, this is like part of, I think, the mystery of the game now. Like, all these different items, we still don't know the use. Well, I mean, we know what the alarm clock's for and all that. Safety scissors, what could we, you know, cut through? That's what we're trying to do. Safety scissors are great for cutting- So we can break out of the skip rope, girl. That is amazing. No, you're not. Okay, I gotta get this paper! No, come on, come on! <laughs> Literally so close, man. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Blast them away. I mean, that's only just like preventing my death for a few seconds. Take me, Baldi. Oh my god. This is about to be real bad. So he's blocking the way I gotta go. But is he gonna push me out of the jump rope? Hold up. Yeah. So I, I guess like, thanks my guy. But can you move now? There's a pair of safety scissors in here. Uh, there's also a booklet. I'm gonna take those, I guess. Now, that was question three of seven. I'm gonna try a different route right now, guys. Okay. You know what? Let's try this. Let me see. <laughs> That's straight savagery, man. I mean, I, I am sorry, I guess. I feel kind of bad. Like, I guess all she wants to do is play skip rope, and I just, like, slice through the thing. Uh, learn to ask next time, and maybe that won't happen, okay? Come on, keep going. I'm gonna blast him back now with the bee soda because I'm gonna take a different route. We're gonna go through the cafeteria, and then I think there's only one more door to do after that. Mm, you know what? I've probably got time to get out of this place, so I can answer these, run back out, and then blast him for, like... Why are you popping a drink while you're answering questions? Uh-oh. This- yeah. Okay, he did use that. I'm gonna have to use my sprint thing. Uh-oh. I gotta run. That was very, very close. Now, if the principal sees me, this could get bad. What if I use this on the door? You know? Quickly, quickly. Come on. It didn't work, so it's only on classrooms. Five, then get this one wrong. This is six out of seven then. I know exactly where the last one of the uh, answer sheets are, but I gotta try and prioritize something a little bit different here, because Baldi gets very, very quick. If I maybe take some weird corners, he may actually lose me. He's gone to the classroom, definitely. How did he know exactly where I was? Hold up, blast him back. Dude, I'm... <sighs> this is all over. It, I mean, Baldi... <laughs> this game could get very interesting very quick now with the ways you can beat it. I'm gonna get at least seven out of seven once in this video because I want to see what happens. So if I get in front, okay, he's gonna push me down again. Now, be ready. I gotta just, like, kind of winch out of the way. Come... I mean, wait. What's... The freak was wrong with his voice, you hear that? Why did he blame me for running, though? I was being pushed by a science project, okay? I mean, I may as well eat this zesty bar to my death. I mean, it was a pretty good, uh, pretty good chocolate bar. Don't like that death, though. It is a lot more difficult, though, to get the same strats before working. So I'm gonna have to loop around with this guy. I've got the quarter. If I head this way here by the B soda, then I guess loop around again. Then I'll get question five there, and then six and seven will be as normal. Make a purchase with that. Also, buttons one to three now, unlike the numpad. You can actually swap between the items, so super helpful. Oh, really? You know what? Just take me. That was bad. I'm kind of playing this exactly as I did last time. Now, there's a quarter just up ahead. I don't know if I actually need that at any point. You know, I don't think I do. I could get that maybe later on, if I get that far, that is. All right, five out of seven down then, guys. Just principle, do not show your face. All right, let me back up a bit. Line the shot, and boom. There we go, that's dead central. You didn't see nothing. I hear him whistling. Nope. Are you... As, oh, man, of all places, are you serious? The bully's right there. I guess this kind of guarantees we're at least going to get seven out of seven. But in terms of getting around the bully, he's going to have to take, like, my candy bar or something. I hope I can just, like, opt to give it him. Uh-oh. Uh I don't think he said anything, so I'm going to go and answer my questions. Please don't. Dude, oh, he didn't see me. No way. Here we go, guys. Kind of a bit tense. This is the first time getting seven out of seven after the newest update. Had a decent run. Only problem right now is the bully, but maybe I could give him... Okay, here we go. Let the speech go on. Uh-huh. No, okay, exit number one. Let's go. All right. Whoa, no way. I gotta blast him back. You made me waste my stuff. I needed that. So what's this here? There's an exit. It does absolutely nothing. Okay. Well, that was a freaking waste. Now, I think I'm basically dead because the bully's gonna snitch this from me no matter what. I think he's coming around the corner. Take Just take no way, bro. Can I get round? Okay, thank goodness I actually can. All right. I gotta just keep running, I suppose. 
Okay, similar sounds. This dude could probably help me out, you know. Keep going. No, wait. Bro, 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 bro. Turn, turn. Let me out. I'm stuck. No, wait. If he turns and pushes me. Come on. Oh, my God. Save the sprint. Save the sprint. Come on. Here he comes. No way. Am I about to get this first try? Bro, he's actually helping me. Okay, I gotta, I gotta get out of this. I gotta get out. Let me go. Let me go. Oh, my God. I'm gonna be so close, man. I don't think I've quite got it, though. It's not enough. No way! Oh my god, he just helped me get the exit! What the freak? I'm out! I'm freaking wow, out! Great job. What? Please try and do worse, though. I need to. What? Please. My game just closed down again. I <laughs> I beat Baldi's basics thanks to that dude pushing me. I can't believe we managed to do that, guys. I, I guess that's a good spot to end this video, you know? What the heck? First freaking try with seven out of seven. So the pushy guy is one of those characters where he can be a pain, but he can also aid you to your victory. That was amazing. Like, I don't know. That was the most enjoyable ending I think I've ever got. It felt like I used one of the mechanics in game as a strat that's supposed to be an annoyance. So I freaking missed, man. I mean, I just played you. Now, there is another added secret ending, which I don't know how to get, but we've already got the ending one of, I guess, two. We can check out what that next ending is, and there's also copious amounts of mods coming out for the game, which we can check out. So there's a few videos left in this update of Baldi's Basics, but for this one, guys, I'm gonna leave this one here. Completely unexpected victory, but I am very happy we managed to get it. Thank you for watching this video, guys. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, why not drop me that like rating, and hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here? So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I, of course, hope you did enjoy, and I will, of course, see you on the next one. Freaking ending though, come on.